Hi, welcome to my first tutorial. This tutorial is going to show you the entire process of creating a simple interactive game in Unity 3D. Here's the empty project I just created and the name is Bouncy Ball. The first thing we need to do is to create a, a ball. Now, Unity has some built-in object in this case, we select Sphere, and we rename the Sphere to Bouncy Ball, so better recognize it. So, now you see the position of it in the Inspector view is 444. We want to move it to two units above the origin for simplicity. And I also want to scale it 40% of the original size. Now double click on that so uh, you can see it clearly. Now we're going to need another object, CQ, and move it to the origin. You can move it in the inspector view by specifying the value of its position or just to move it in the same view. But I think this position value is much more easier. And this one, we want it look like a pilot. So we want to scale it in vertical. Yeah, perfect. Now you say it looks like a pilot. Um, now in the camera view, you can barely see it. So we need to move the camera closer to the scene and rotate it a little bit you can do the rotate by clicking this little symbol then drag it rotate it. there we go now you see the ball and the pedal, but it's in dark. The reason is we don't have a light. So we're going to create a light. Create other directional light. And we want to put it in a position like 0, 4, negative 4, and rotate it along the x axis. Now, this directional light light it up you can see it double click the main camera you can see it's not dark anymore now those are the objects we are going to need in this uh, development and now we want to do some physics on this ball the first one is in the physics list rigid body and you can see here, use gravity is already checked. It means once you start the game, the ball is going to fall on a pedal. Here we go. We go back to the same view. We also need to specify the material for this uh, sphere collider. Then we know when when this ball hit another object, how it will react. Mm, say it's empty in the assets, and we need to import some package in this case physics package let's go to the location of the unity program files unity editor standard packages and under this package we can say physics materials select this one click open now it's importing this package for us import so, after this, you can say two items appear in the project view. And we are going to use it for the bouncy ball. In the material, click this little circle. Select bouncy, double click it. Now this ball is bouncy. It means if you test it in a game, you can see the result. Instead of staying on the same place, now it bounces back. In order to make this uh, 
an interactive game. We want to enable user move this pedal using their mouse. So we are going to create a JavaScript and rename it by pressing F2 on Windows machine. Mouse move. Press enter. Finish the renaming. You click edit in respect to view. Unity will launch the default script editor for us. I will just paste my code. I copied from somewhere else. Mm. The, those, those four lines of code is basically um, assign the coordinates of your mouse to the coordinates of the pedal in a game world and do some translation between those two different systems. Press Ctrl plus S, save this script. And now drag this script to the cube and we'd better rename it to pedal. Now expecting some update there now it's reporting on error. Let's go to the script to say what's happening. Expecting Oh okay. Let's make some mistake. There we go. Play. Now you say as I move the mouse the pedal goes with it. If you move it all the way here, the ball falls, goes nowhere. That's basically the game, and I hope we can also do it. Thank you.